What's up guys, happy Sunday and welcome back to a new video. I've been getting a lot of requests to make a video on how to get better at photography, so here it is. Today we are going to be going over 5 tips to drastically change your photography. Make sure you stay until the end because it is going to be the most important tip. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. This is literally a game changer. Tip number 1 is lighting. Lighting is hands down one of the most crucial aspects when you're taking photos because it can make your photo either really good or really bad. That is one of the reasons why a lot of photographers, including myself, wait until sunset to take photos. Shooting in overcast or in gloomy weather is a lot better because you don't have all these weird shadows to worry about. So normally when you're shooting in the middle of the day you'll have all this weird light and these weird shadows that can honestly make your photo just really bad. Now this doesn't mean you can't take a good photo in the middle of the day but you just have to realize you have to work with all the shadows and the sun directly hitting your subject's face. Moral of the story, try to shoot during sunset. Your colors will pop more and it's easier to shoot. It's just a lot better in general. Plus sunsets are pretty so you can get some nice clouds in the back and some really really cool colors. Tip Number two, this is probably going to sound really self-explanatory and really basic, but practice. I cannot emphasize how important practice actually is in photography. For a year straight, I took photos on my phone and posted them every single day onto Instagram. And honestly, that is one of the things that helped me get better. Go outside, get a friend, take photos of literally anything you want. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you're out there practicing, getting familiar with your camera, and just discovering new things. A lot of people expect to get better overnight, but that is one of the few things you cannot do in photography. Even the best photographers out there are still practicing. I've been taking photos for four years and there's still so much for me to learn and so much I want to learn, but that'll all come to me as I start to shoot more. Don't be lazy, don't make excuses, go outside, take photos of anything, take photos of leaves, take photos of your plants, take photos of your dog, take photos of anything. Practicing every single day will take you a long, long ways. Tip number three is don't be afraid of awkward situations. Now when I say this, I mainly mean don't be afraid to lie on the ground and get in a weird position for a really cool photo. Most of my favorite photos that I've taken have consisted of me lying on the ground or me standing on some really tall object while people are staring at me. Yeah, people might judge you, people might laugh at you, people might be looking at you while you're taking the photo, but only you know the end result and only you know how amazing the photo is going to be. So don't let other people's perspectives get in the way because they honestly don't know how much work and effort actually goes into taking a really cool photo. It's sad to say a lot of people don't respect photographers and they'll look at them and laugh at them because of the crazy things they have to do in order to get a good photo. Trust me when I say this, keep putting yourself in those awkward situations because that is where the best photos will come from. The other day when I was taking photos in JC's bathroom, I stood on the countertop, I stood on the toilet, I laid on the ground, but the photos came out really good. Some of those photos are on the screen right now, and was it weird? Yeah. Was it awkward? Kinda. Did I get good photos out of it? Yes. That brings me to tip number four, simple is better. If you know what I shoot like and you know my work, you know that my backgrounds are very simple. I don't go too crazy trying to fill up the frame with these cool clouds or like these birds flying in the background or any of that stuff. People like the look of a simple photo because it's easier to look at and people know what they should be focusing on. For example, if you're taking a photo of your friend, people should be looking at said friend and not all these things in the background. Don't get me wrong, a pretty background is extremely crucial because people don't want to be looking at a white wall. People want to look at something pleasing to the eye. So you just need to find that balance between simple and not overkill. As you shoot more, it'll become more natural and you'll be able to scope out backgrounds. That is why I recommend to go location scouting before you have an important shoot. Just so you're not trying to figure out things the day of or the moment of and just so you're not stressed in general. The fifth and final tip is hands down the most important tip in photography. And it's actually not really about taking the photo itself. Tip number five is editing. This will make or break your photo. People often overlook what good editing does to a photo and will take it for granted. These are some of the before and afters of my favorite photos and needless to say, the editing really did a lot. I highly advise using Adobe Lightroom. However, it is a very tedious software. Do not let it intimidate you. Sit down, take some time to learn it and just give it a chance. The more you edit on it, the more comfortable you'll become with all the sliders, the panels and just the settings you aren't normally used to. One mistake that I see a lot of beginning photographers make is that they get a little bit too excited with all the sliders and they go a little bit overkill on the edits. Personally, my editing style is very real, timeless, and subtle. But as you edit more, you might find that your editing style is very grainier, very grungier, very moodier, whatever it may be. With that said, that is the end of the video, but if there are two things I want you to take away from this is practice and learn how to edit. If you do those two things, you will see drastic improvement in your photos. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys want more photography videos. And if you aren't subscribed, then make sure to subscribe because it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and you guys want to see more videos from me in general. With that said, I will see you guys all next Sunday. Maybe sooner. Surprise coming soon. Peace out, y'all.